Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's very good. I literally have no use for a pickup truck in London, apart from, I don't know, the odd trip to the garden center. But for some reason, I want one of these quite badly. This is the Alpha Wolf electric pickup truck. And if you've never heard of the company, let alone the car, that's entirely understandable. It's a Californian EV startup that started making waves last year when it released renderings of the Ace, a refreshingly different retro coupe with wheel arches to make an AMG Black Series blush. Then they showed us the Jax, a rugged jacked up version of the Ace. And then it really got our attention when it revealed this, the Wolf. But as much as we wanted to believe it was true and as much as we were encouraged by the fact that Alpha is already taking no money down deposits on its website, we only had renderings to go on until now when we've got something to touch and feel and walk around and sit in. Time for some numbers. There will be Wolf and extended cab Wolf Plus versions with 0 to 60 times of around six seconds and a towing capacity of up to more than three tons. Both get the choice of single motor rear wheel drive or dual motor four wheel drive and get the option of an 85 kilowatt hour battery for a range of 275 miles. It's also 4.7 meters long and a fraction under two meters wide. That makes it shorter and wider than a single cab Toyota Hilux and a stretched four door Super Wolf is also in the pipeline. Okay, so this is just a model for the moment. There's no interior on here, but interestingly, this car has gone straight from 3D modeling in CAD to this physical truck that we've got here. And that's interesting, that's relevant because it's one of the pillars of this company, Alpha, that it wants to use digital design tools to streamline the process of producing a car. I have to say the proportions on this thing are absolutely amazing. I knew that from looking at the renders, but when I first walked in, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, in America, I suppose this would be, I don't know, a compact size truck, a medium sized truck, a compact medium truck, perhaps. But to my warped British eyes, this is quite a chunky piece of metal. And I think it's down to the width because it's got some proper stance. It sits quite low on its suspension and you've got these massive wheel arches poking out here. Now. The Wolf in its most standard form will cost a little bit over $36,000, which is amazingly cheap, really, isn't it? Um, but this model here has been kitted out to be effectively top spec, which means we got lots of lights to play with. Okay, so I have the controller of Destiny. Let's have some fun with these lights, shall we? So what have we got? Side lights, low beam, high beam. You might want to put your sunglasses on for this because it's about to get quite bright. Front spots, how do you like that? Boom, and then the roof lights up there. Looks good, doesn't it? There we go, switch them all off. What else can I show you? Around the front, this massive bull bar, perfect for nudging other cars out the way that are in your parking space. Uh, under here, looks like a traditional bonnet, but of course you don't have an engine. So under there will be a frunk, a significant frunk by the size of it. Uh, here's your charging flap on the side here. And down here, we have some pretty serious looking off-road tires. I think we might get a little bit of arch rub in there because the car's sitting quite low on its suspension. But we're not gonna worry about that for now, are we? Because this is just a model and it looks fantastic. And interesting that you could spec your Wolf with off-road tires like this, but the single motor rear wheel drive powertrain. The definition of all the gear, no idea. Right. What else can I show you? Yes, if you look just underneath this chunky step rail here, you may be able to see the battery casing just hanging down. And what that tells us is that this is gonna be a skateboard style underfloor flat battery, as per most EVs these days with either one or two motors, one on each axle. And you have the sport bar here, which looks fantastic and is mounted with enough spotlight to make Tom Wookie Ford go a bit wobbly at the knees. Around the back, oh, I have to say, I absolutely love these tail lights. There's something properly retro about them. And then this is how you lower the tailgate, revealing the full six foot bed. Pickup trucks are brilliant, aren't they? Right, what else do we know? Well, it's gonna be a body on frame construction. 
like a proper truck. We still don't know where they're gonna get their batteries and their motors from, but we do know that initially, at least, Alpha wants to outsource production. It will keep it in the US, and the plans are to build 15 to 25,000 of these trucks a year. And then, if it really flies, they will plan to build their own factory. You can't fault their ambition, can you?